Doug Ford. We're coming for you next. They're from, oh, yeah, Ontarians. How about Doc? Toronto. <laughs> you know what to expect now. Oh, shit. Uh, the truckers right here. Literally, the truckers. So, this is the blockade, right? The police doesn't want the truckers coming in. But then the truckers. Uh, so the truckers uh, honking at the police, right? And the police does not want them in. Um, yeah. But they're just here. They're like, okay, we don't want to get in, but we'll just blockade the shit out of your fucking entrance. <laughs> Into downtown. <laughs> That's great. Alright, cool. Yo, what if they just... Look at, look at these guys. They're fucking <laughs> anarchy. Alright, and this is, uh, once again, Tomb of the Forgotten Soldier at night time. Who's going to be the real daring sport and uh, dance on this again? Dancing Just, with what? So uh, yesterday, um, people were dancing on top of the uh, Tomb of the Forgotten Soldier. Oh. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, and then now the feds are looking into it because uh, it's a big controversy. Yeah. Okay, I, I guess you're not going to dance? If you're not going to dance, I'm going to dance. trying to say I love everyone you love everyone yeah and I have the sign you're just saying I am holding the sign because I love everyone I, I'm holding the sign because uh, or you're saying that everyone should love everyone else like well what is the message that is uh the, this message I kind of get it I just want you to elaborate on yeah it. let me elaborate for you the message is about love you know love one another no we're not forcing someone when you love them you're not they try to control their body not controlling their body. Yes. Oh. Your body is your body. My body is my body. Oh, right. Okay, okay. So, so, so. Loving your body means that I can say no to getting vaccinated. That, that's what yes, you're saying. exactly. Oh, okay. Yes. Or you can take a vaccine if you want to. You can take you're a vaccine. Oh, okay. okay. Well, you're okay. free to take a vaccine. In so far as you have the choice. You have the choice. Okay, okay. That's and that's for real. That's right. your body. That's your life. Your oh, body, okay. One okay. life, one love, one God. Okay. Spirit. Oh, okay. Awesome. Spiritual awakening, enlightenment, peace. By 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 all of that, you are just saying that uh, I can pick whether I want to get the needle in my arm or not. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> when you see so many of these "my body, my choice" signs, I think it's like a part of the feminist movement. So Parliament Hill is essentially useless. It has not been doing anything for the past six months, and uh, it is still useless right now. So this uh, Goliath of an architecture is not being put to any fucking use. <laughs> Nobody is working. <laughs> the 
walking out the fucking streets going to muck. Western civilization has reached a point of peril. Oh, Pluto, Vincent Inglaeus. Oh, okay. A bunch of other languages that I don't understand. Make the Canadian make only great again. All right, now onto the rave. The fuck Trudeau rave. This rave is called Fuck Trudeau. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, I just want the action. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. No. no worries, I won't take it. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I guess if you're raving and uh, you've been drinking, maybe if you're on drugs, you ought to lose your car keys. How much is it? How much is it? Uh, to um, dance. for the admission. Yeah, for the admission of the party. Everything's free. Everything's free. Everything's free. Everything's free. Everything's free. And I want to freedom. They're not gonna charge you, man. Wow, I want to pay. I want to pay. I want to pay. I want to pay. Yeah, yeah, come on. Nobody wants to see your dance. Oh, no, it's free. Freedom. Thank you. Okay. Oh, they don't want my money. They don't want my money now. No, I can do it right. I can do it right, Bob. Protest has gotten larger. Protest itself has gotten larger. Idling. Metric tons of fucking pollution. Oh god, carbon monoxide. I swear to god, I'm Dating freedom. Yes. Yeah, so freedom must be a hot chick. As a man, I would love to date freedom, right? <laughs> I would love to date freedom. Yeah, well, let's just say yes to me. Yeah, yes, you would, right? Well, awesome. Free, freedom, freedom loves everybody. Freedom loves everybody. Freedom, I love you. Oh, oh thank you. Freedom loves oh, everybody. Oh. If you're a Canadian, I love you. I love all Canadians. Yo, Ottawa is not going to sleep for the next fucking God knows how many fucking days. And then there are talks that Trudeau, actually, today, this afternoon, there was a Israeli fucking news that leaked out that Trudeau has been hiding in fucking America. Allegedly. A allegedly. Allegedly hiding in America. Hey! What up? I would say thank you for your essential service. 
Yeah. Essential? Yeah. <laughs> How many of those essential services have you done? So there's no argument going on. Oh, oh. Do you have no, you have no scientific evidence? No, no, no. I want to ask you, can you no. give me any I mean, scientific evidence? She, she, she's a nurse, okay, so, so there is no altercation going on. You can't. Well, there, but anyways, my point, I, well, the reason no, I'm asking is Trudeau, you. If Trudeau does uh, resign as you want him to, like, what's going to happen afterwards? Like, what? What would happen well, if Trudeau we resigned? Need get, we need to get clarity. We need to get it resolved. We, we need but, to... But, like, you're just going to be another yeah, liberal yeah, leader, so it doesn't really make any sense to stay here until he resigns, because it's going to be another liberal oh. leader. That just... You, you see why your protest doesn't really make any sense to anyone here. Like, at least if you're staying till Trudeau resigns, because you're it's not really going to happen. It doesn't make any sense to anyone here. 0.5%. <laughs> you are a very negative percentage. I'm not negative. I just seriously No, a negative asking. percentage. So, I, I'll, be, I'll be opposite. You're a very small majority. What I'm asking, though, if Trudeau steps down, down, if Trudeau steps down, who is going to be the next leader? Like, what are you suggesting? Like, I just don't think it's going to get any better. It'd just be another little... You are. So you were saying, like, no, without an election, just you, no election? That sounds a lot like fascism. That's how you guys love democracy. That's, what, that's what Trudeau's doing. So right you don't now, want to right? no, I, I, I can't do any worse. I can't I mean, do any worse. We elected him. We had a democratic election. No, I can't do any worse. So we, you know, no, we don't yeah. want another democratic election. You know how much election. money so he's saying, getting. Uh, no, why why do you give why do you give thirty two million dollars to China? Why do you give sixty million dollars to to, to all these countries? There's no evidence that you did that other than you hear Okay, oh, I feel, I feel ridiculous. Oh my god. I didn't want to talk to you. All the evidence. There's so much evidence out there. So, so much evidence out there. Cheated off the case. Where are you getting your... Please, please give me... I mean, I'm not the one that's Where are you getting your... Where are you getting your evidence? I can ask you these exact same questions. Where? 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 No, they haven't. Yeah, they have. They're no, they haven't. Awesome. They're no, they haven't. Oh my God. Anyways, anyways. I, I got a really important question. Oh I got a really important question. Where'd your clothes go? Oh, they're in a backpack. <laughs> and you've been out here for how long? Since about 11 o'clock this morning. Woo! Oh, shit. True hero. <laughs> <laughs> He's being advised to warm up. Yesterday I was, uh, got frostbite. You got frostbite? I, my, my legs were bleeding. Oh, oh okay. Uh, today it's getting better, right? I, I wore my winter thong today. So today it's getting... Okay. okay. And then people are giving you money. Uh, I can see that people are giving you I money know, here. I yeah, I know. The, the, the purpose of that is to buy... Oh. <laughs> to buy some new clothes, I guess. Alright. So, here we have where the blockade initially started last night and then um, <laughs> the trucks that are unable to get in to join the real blockade over there they're just blockading another street now in front of the blockade wake up Canada you are being lied to by government health officials COVID is a shame God keep our land glorious and free we stand on guard for you. We got this. Make Trudeau a drama teacher again. Who the fuck is he gonna teach? He gonna teach my kids? Why the hell do you want that? Why the hell does anyone want that? Who the fuck is he gonna teach? He ain't teaching my kids. What is he teaching your kids? Um, uh, make him teach your kids, please. I'm not, I'm not, not mine. Okay, thank you. I'll get it in. <laughs> Is it warm? It's too warm to be dressed like this. This protest this weekend, Quebec Cross, 
They fucking know how to party. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, there's a rave going on. Can I join the party? Yeah? Uh, Jennifer Palela Blanche. Oh, I would love to. Yes, I would like Skittles. Oui, 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 oui. Oh, c'est s'il vous plaît. Um, merci beaucoup. Oh, okay. Merci, Sorry. Oh, yes. Uh, all right. My, my, my French say tele, tele, oh, oh, okay. And, and they're accommodating. Fuck. Hey, French, you don't know how to party. Yeah, Party. Party in the QBC. Thank you. Jesus Christ, free food. Love it. Woo! All right, I'll return tomorrow. Party tomorrow. I, I have a very um, legitimate curiosity. I'm just asking, right? So. You guys fund your own diesel, you guys, right? Right, so, um, you guys have been here for uh, many, many, many hours, right? So I guess the question is, uh, when the gas runs out, how are the vehicle? What, what happens then? Bringing us fuel if we need it. Oh, uh, they bring us fuel. Okay, okay. We have fuel. I need to have about 900 liters in our tank. 900 liters in your tank. Because you pay for so, your own fuel to get here and, uh... And that, but, but if it runs, right? who's they? So, so they being, uh, like... Other truckers will bring you guys fuel, that. No, no, they're bringing around like a pickup truck will have very fuel. Oh, okay. So, so the organizers, they have fuel for you guys to get out eventually after. Okay. 900 liters of gas. That would last how many days? How many days of idling? Eight or nine. Eight or nine days. <laughs> no intention on leaving. No. <laughs> it's serious. It's, it's on. It's on, boys and girls. What what, what 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 do you think of? Are you a big fan of the truckers over there? Like, what what, what do you think of this? Well, huh? I, I really have no idea the reason that we began COVID downtown. But, uh, I heard COVID nineteen or whatnot. But mm -hmm. I couldn't say anything. I don't know. Yeah, some of them are against vaccination. Some of them are, uh, you know, they, they they feel like they cannot cross the borders where they're forcibly being laid off because they are they refuse to get the vaccine yeah. yeah cause they think it's like the juice of poison being injected into their body or some shit like that I don't know mm. but they'll drink alcohol uh, huh? but they'll drink alcohol but, but they drink hard liquor moonshine all of that that's okay <sighs> this is a wonderful spot to park your bobcat in the middle of the intersection <laughs> and it's ready they're, they're, they're ready to bulldoze away the police vehicle that is right in front of them right in front of the bobcat the bulldoze the fucking cops away. What the hell are two vehicles gonna fucking do? That's police enforcement. This guy gets mad, he fucking rams you right into fucking discharges. Would you elaborate this for me? Medical segregation. The the um met oh as in right right. If you're hanging a sign on your business and saying, oh no, you need an injection in your body. In order to operate, right? Or in order to be open. You can't enter. Everyone that's in here. Right. Separating society based on whether they have an injection or not. Yeah. Given the fact that the vaccines, as advertised, only reduce symptom severity. Right, but it doesn't prevent these you these from particular vac set of vaccines. Right, right. Don't prevent transmission. It is wrong, both morally and scientifically, to segregate society based on vaccination status. This COVID vaccination. Different from conventional vaccine. Alright, and then you got the uh, A A1 or the A11 police faction. Goon squad. Yo, they look like gangsters. Those are the real thugs, I think. Are they? <laughs> more lumber industry, more fucking. More Northern Ontario industry. I guess when you piss the truckers off. Home Depot is going to be here. Alright, here we have what looks like a bonfire right in the middle of the street. No way, say word. Is this a bonfire? I can join the bonfire, yeah? This flame. Warming my heart and warming my soul. Mm, I love it. No, 
smells like carbon monoxide. Oh, 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 he's saying that you guys gotta go. Oh, I think they're trying to kick you guys out or something. He's, he's saying you gotta get out of the intersection. Well, you're in the middle of an intersection, man. This is an emergency. Okay, okay. We're, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. Yeah, I just don't want you to get here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go. <laughs> the police liaison, he's like, let's go. <laughs> you may block some of our streets, but you cannot do so in the middle of an intersection. Then we got protesters arguing with the police. They're like, you're telling them to go, you guys are blocking the roads. The activists are real, man. Point being delivered here is that when they do it, it's absolutely okay. But then when they're in the middle of the fucking road, they got the GTFO. <laughs> so, so now, now she, she, she's blockading the road right now as we speak. Go that way. And the vehicle listens. Do it. Oh shit! No way! Holy shit! Whoa! Vehicle actually stopped in front of this protester. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, business resumes. <laughs> She's blockading the road. <laughs> and now this officer is getting real mad. Let's see if they're actually going to do something about it. <laughs> so they're having a dialogue as we speak right now. And then everyone gets stuck in there. Okay. Right? But and I believe the people that are going that way want to be stuck that way. No, no. No, because there's people like, oh, I gotta go to the Weston Hotel. And their GPS tells them to go that way. Okay. But if the road's blocked up there, they get stuck in there. And then someone else wants to go to the Weston. Someone's going to the Channel Laurier. Someone's going to Gatineau. Right? It's a yeah. heated dialogue. Get stuck there. Okay. Oh, okay. So let me ask you a question, yeah. sir. I'm not trying to be just no, no, a yeah, if the transport comes down here that wants to participate in the rally, will you move for him to enter this? Then why not? What's because the purpose of blocking this road? If you can't get through anyways, let him park. only certain spots that they can go to. What spots right. are those? Because every road I walk down now seems to have been blocked off since yesterday. Right. So I guess there's not too many spots. Other than, you know what's going to happen? They're going to start parking down on the freeway okay. down there and you're going to have a much, much anyways, bigger problem. Right? I answered your question. That's correct. Okay. Okay. But every GPS shows where the traffic alert is at. Uh, not if you've got a built-in navigation in your car. Like it does. No, uh, actually, mine no. does. Oh, well, does it? Yes. Okay. Well, then you must have one of the <laughs> I actually do. <laughs> I'm going to park for my you money. Got, so you got, guys can protect us. You guys got to give her some credit, though. She does make a very good road blocker. You know, she was very authoritative in telling the vehicles that they had to fucking swerve around her and not use the lane that she was fucking blockading. When the police was first approaching her, he was asking her for her ID. Is that correct? Correct. Yeah, right. So after she was like trying to block the fucking roads, you know, the police, when, when he first went over there, was like, yo, where's your ID? But then when we crossed the street, what happened? He stopped wanting to arrest her, right? Like interrogate. Right. You're right. And then it turned into like a debating thing instead. So I think in a way, when we crossed the street with the GoPro, we actually helped her. Not. I think we did. <laughs> it would suck. To be fucking law enforcement this day and age. God damn. Who the hell would want to work that fucking train? Jeez, we can't do anything. But, you know, if we're going to have to live in a society without fucking cops, then where is our society going to be? Nobody wants to be a fucking law So, this theory that I had a few hours ago was that um, all the AM radio stations are just talking about sports and why is it that they're all talking about sports is to attract the attention because they don't want to cover and give this protest any more attention. <laughs> so any live streaming fucking AM radio right now, all it's doing is just ignoring the elephant in the living room and fucking talking about sports. And what's the point of that? The point is, if you just ignore it blatantly, you're not giving them the attention they want. So maybe we'll just go home. So every channel right now in AM radio, I'm not shifting you, you're just talking about sports. I check. <laughs> All sports. <laughs> it's a clever idea, don't you think? Yeah, it, it's a strategy. It, it is a strategy. <laughs>